Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Galaxy Watch Ultra. So here we have the Galaxy Watch Ultra and the Galaxy Classic 6. Now, this has been my watch for a while now. I got it pretty much from release date. And before this, I had the 5 Pro. And so my story with the 5 Pro was uh, I liked it, but I felt that it was a bit laggy sometimes. And the digital vessel was also a bit laggy. Like it will rotate fine for a moment and then kind of like drag and suddenly it goes very fast. And, and the uh, fluidity of the motion, it was also like, it vary, right? It could be really smooth or it could be like all lagging. So when the Classic 6 was announced, I jumped on it because I wanted to get the rotating vessel, which was physical like this one. And I wanted to see if it was any smoother. And definitely there was an improvement. There's still situations where it will lag for a moment and then it will go smoothly again. But for the most part, it was, it was fine. It was an upgrade from the 5. And I didn't feel like the battery was a problem in dropping from a bigger battery from the 5 Pro. The one thing that did bother me was the body seems a bit weak. Um, I'm not a car mechanic or anything like that deal with heavy machinery, right? But like even connecting an RCA cable with my, my AVR or something like that, I will maybe hit the enclosure the case of the AVR a little bit and then a ding on the, on the frame and say, too easily, uh, too easy to cause damage on the on the frame. I don't know if you can see it. I'll probably take a picture to show you. But there's markings around, and I had to go with a black marker and kind of like cover it a little bit because it bothers me when I see it. So that's one of the things that I didn't like. Uh, the recessed screen is nice because I didn't even have to use a, a protection screen the, the cover because it's so recessed that I never felt anything that would touch it. So. The, the damage was always around the actual uh, frame of the, of, the, of the watch instead of the screen. Now, when the Classic, uh, when the Ultra was announced, at first I was like, whoa, orange like that, square kind of round thing. I'm not so sure about this watch. But let me tell you, first of all, photos and videos don't make this watch justice. This in person looks stunning. When I opened the box, I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. And nothing like what I thought I was going to be getting. So my first concern was immediately cleared. But I still had some concerns about the vessel, because on this one, of course, this is a digital vessel, not a physical, like on the 6. And um, from previous experiences with the 5 Pro, well, the digital vessel wasn't the best. But needless to say, that also was eradicated from my mind right away because the moment I started playing with a digital vessel on this thing, it was so accurate, smooth, and just so flawless. Like I could move my finger. And I normally do it here with the thumb, I mean the thumb like this. I feel like this is a more natural way for me to do it. And it's just so perfect that I don't miss the, the uh, physical anymore. I did get to have to retrain my muscle memory because on this one I will go like this. So I, I was used to this motion. So I did have to change my muscle memory a little bit to readjust to this. But other than that, the the change was no problem. And because it's so smooth, I didn't have any problems with it. So I, I enjoyed it. Like, I, let me see if I can show you here. So I normally do it through here and the feedback is very nice on it. Like tact to tactile feedback, so it makes it also nice. It feels good when you're doing it. So, yep, that was uh, one of the things that I was concerned about. So again, something less to be concerned. Now, the two reasons I regretted from this, or I wanted to give this one a try, was vibration on this is super weak. So most of the time I would just miss the vibration and whatever notification I was trying to get. It would just, I would just miss it. This one is much stronger. So when I heard about people about saying that, that it was stronger vibration, I decided to give it a shot. And also, again, the frame on this one seems very weak, like, or weak enough to get dink very easily. Then I read that this one is a much stronger material. So I said, like, okay, those two things might be interesting. Let's give it a shot, even if it's, if I'm not sure about the looks. 
And then when I open it, I love the looks, so not a problem. Now, looks-wise, the orange might not be for everyone. I love how it looks. It, it, funny enough, when I went to Vegas recently for a vacation, I actually went with an um, all-orange strap on this one and orange face, even though this one wasn't even announced at the time. Just out of nowhere, I decided to go with that because I had it. I like that kind of colors. But, of course, it's different switching to that one for a while and then switching to something else and kind of having it stuck on this one. And by stuck, I mean because of the accents are orange in the actual frame here. Changing to different ones may not be as easy because, then, you know, if you would change to a color that doesn't quite match those orange accents, you may not like it. So you can just go with a black and which will be fine. Or I'm sure you can get like a cover a black case cover protection for it, which will cover the orange. Uh, and I'm sure third parties will come up with metallic rims like, like with self adhesive here so you can cover all this and make it black because I've seen it in the past. So I wasn't super concerned about that, but it's a bit of a limitation in terms of like swapping bands for different colors versus just a black, all black one like this or black with a little bit of white. Uh, sound wise, it sounds really strong, really clear when I get notifications like from Google or something. Uh, the voice quality is great. I made some calls and it sounded perfect. The other person heard me brilliant and I was driving with some noises on the road. So that's a, that's a great plus. I haven't tried the LTE. I, I don't think I will because my carrier doesn't allow to share the same number. So I don't want to have a different number of my watch than my phone. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I won't be able to report on that. Sorry. As far as the straps, this is super easy with this one button here to swap straps. I find it super nice, super simple. I know there were some complaints about the straps, like having a proprietary connector and not being able to use your old straps and all whatnot. But I was like, I mean, even before the watch was released, there was already an Etsy and an Amazon adapters. So you can just get an adapter for a couple of bucks and use your old straps. So I don't know why people make such a big fuss about nothing. Uh, the one thing I do notice is that I have a lot of straps from my old watch and I feel like this one is like thicker watch. So the thinner straps seem a bit too thin now. Like, I don't know, the looks don't quite match my preferences right now. So I may start looking into thicker bands for my, for this watch from now on. But I'm planning to do a review of different watch uh, accessories up, uh, soon. So I'm connecting with some uh, companies to review their accessories. So. Keep an eye on my channel for that. And that includes some bands and some protection cases and whatnot. But yeah, this is the main thing. Uh, you know, regarding the bands, it's easy. You can get those straps and and just swap them yourself. Not a big deal. And so I, I'm not so sure about why there were so many complaints about the color, because again, you can just cover it if you want to, or uh, or just get the white one, or get the, the light gray one, whichever you prefer. There's no best color, there's preferences, right? If there was a the best color, there will be the just the one color, because so why wouldn't it be something else? So when I see people talking about the best color, or oh, this one has best ergonomics, it's like there's no best ergonomics, there's no best color, there's a preference. It's just because something fits my hand better or feels better to me, it doesn't mean that it's the best because somebody else might not feel the same way. So just keep that in mind when you re listen to reviews. There's certain things that are just opinions and preferences and all the things that are facts. It's good to differentiate those two things. But in terms of display, uh, the this one is brighter. And actually, let me give you a quick look outside uh, doors to see how they compare. Okay, so I'm outside. I'm gonna walk into the sun to show the difference in some brightness between the two in a pretty hot, bright day. So we're gonna turn on both the Classic 6 and the Ultra. And as you can see there, they are both against the sunlight. The Ultra is definitely brighter. And I, with my own eyes, they're both actually visible. Yeah. But there's definitely more punch on the on the ultra when looking at them side by side. But um, you know, I don't I don't see any problems seeing the classic six. 
So as you saw, the Ultra is stronger, but I don't find either of them hard at all to, to read outside, even on direct sunlight. They are both bright enough, but the Ultra is going to look better because it has more punch, more brightness. But again, I don't see that as a big factor because they are both looking just fine to me. Easy to read either one. But I know this, you know, they're promoting the extra brightness and it definitely, you can tell. But uh, overall, let me show you one thing. The band that came with this, I love how it feels. I love how it looks. The only thing I wish is that would offer different sizes because this is supposed to be small, medium, and large. And my only problem with this is like, for my wrist, this is a bit too large. So it sticks out a bit too high for my taste. It's not a big deal, but I wish it was like smaller, like around here. But you know, it is what it is. I'm sure there are going to be more third-party bands and if you want a smaller one, you can do that. But that would be the only thing I wish I would do. Now, there's one extra thing, and I don't know if it's been mentioned very often, but it's third-party compatibility with wash faces. Apparently, from what a uh, wash designer told me, Sam Samsung or Google or somebody, it must be Samsung, did some changes on the back end where it broke compatibility of some of their watch faces and they kind of restore it with some stuff that they had to remove and then they will cripple their watch faces up features. I don't know why Samsung will do something like that, but case in point, Facer, which is a popular app that allows you to use a lot of cool watch faces, it's not working with the Ultra. It works with the Classic. Uh, Watchmaker, also another app that allows you to access a, a bunch of uh, user-created watch faces as well it's not working. I do have some watch faces that stopped working that I cannot copy from my previous watch to this one because it's just not compatible then some others do work. It seems that the more basic ones with like, liking some of the features that I like are the ones that are able to work and the ones that some features that are being locked for some reason they don't work. And that bothers me because uh, I don't want Samsung to become Apple-like in terms of, you know, closing their system and, and ecosystem in a way that only they can control who does what. This is not what got Samsung where they are, so I feel they really need to work on that, open that so third-party developers can create their faces as before, get access to the cool features like the compass and, and the night mode and stuff like that. And, and just let them, I mean, it's not like Samsung is going to be making wash faces to sell you, right? So if you let people do their wash faces and people see how many wash faces they can get, this is good for your business. You get more people buying your watches because of all the compatible things that they can add to it. It's not like you're losing money because they're buying wash faces from a third party instead of from you. This is not what you are selling, Samsung. You're selling just the watch. So just let them do it and don't then go that route. And speaking of Apple, I wanted to bring this up before I wrap this up this video. I wish YouTubers would stop saying that this is a copy of the Sun of the Apple Watch because oh my god. First of all, there's an excellent video that a YouTuber did that shows piece by piece why this is not a copy of the Apple Watch. Everything here has been done by either Samsung itself or other actual watch companies way before Apple even had a one watch in the market so i don't understand why youtubers even big channels like marquez brown and that should have resources to research things like that before saying these things are are making such a mistake so you know companies copy each other all the time and it's good for us because you know we get more features into every product and we have more options but let's stop the whole thing with the samsung copied apple you know, this design was already from App, uh, Samsung's already in 2017. They had this square and round design, and this is a pre something that other watches had done way before that too. It wasn't created by Apple, so let's stop that nonsense. But anyway, I am really happy that I decided to try this watch, even my concerns about the looks and uh, and the digital vessel, but the looks were, are stunning when I see it in person. It's so much better looking. So that went away. Uh, the digital vessel works flawlessly, so again, perfect. Battery life, I'm getting over two days of battery life. Just just over two days, not like a lot more. 
plenty of, of life for me because I normally put it into charge when I take a bath or and also when I go into bed I'm reading something or whatnot. It's right there, so I just let it charge before I put it back and go to sleep because, because I like to do the sleep tracking features. So I don't really need the watch to last me three, four, five, six days or 10 days or whatever. If that's what you need, you have to either disable some of the extra features so it lasts longer or go with a different watch uh, because this is not going to do it. But for me, that's not a concern uh, to uh, a little bit more than two days so far. And it's, I don't know if it's finished training, I have to check it. That's plenty. So yeah, uh, overall, I'm extremely happy with my purchase. Uh, keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to be reviewing some accessories for it. And if you have any questions, anything you want me to review, test, or uh, just let me know in the comments and I will reach out to the companies and see if I can get them to send me the products to test them for either this watch or any other product you want me to check. As always, thank you for watching.